Okay, well, diabetic patients um, have a, an increased risk of developing PAD, uh, peripheral arterial disease. Peripheral arterial disease refers uh, to arteriosclerosis uh, involving the arteries, primarily the arteries of the legs. And the concern there is that if the arteriosclerosis builds up and causes um, either narrowing, uh, referred to as a stenosis, or blockages in the arteries, uh, referred to as occlusions, then that can lead to a decrease in the circulation uh, to the legs. And this is where the concern and fear of amputation comes in. And the avoidance of it, unfortunately, is less related to control of the diabetes than to an awareness of the problem uh, and to early recognition and management. The most common initial symptom is claudication. Uh, claudication is defined as a pain or aching uh, sensation in the calves primarily uh, on walking, which is relieved by rest. So typically, uh, if you have claudication, you can walk several blocks, you get an aching discomfort or cramping in the leg, you have to stop, you stop for a few minutes, the blood circulation catches up with the muscle requisite, and then you can walk some more. That's the most common symptom, it's called claudication. Um, the other uh, ancillary problem uh, that diabetics have is uh, they have neuropathy. Uh, which means a decrease in sensation. So an injury to the skin, either from pressure, uh, from an ill-fitting shoe, for example, uh, doesn't uh, give the patient the same kind of sensation that the non-diabetic would get, so that the pressure, uh, whether it's from a deformity in the foot or a shoe, or sleeping in bed for a long time, or being in bed in a hospital bed for a long time with pressure on the heel, that can cause injury to the skin that's not recognized early enough uh, to prevent what's called gangrene or ulceration from developing. So those two problems in diabetics, the one being the decreased sensation, the other being the increased propensity for developing arteriosclerotic blockages, makes the diabetic more prone to develop the complications of PAD, uh, which uh, initially will be a disability but ultimately can lead to gangrene or death of tissue and the need for amputation. So the important element here is not only control of the diabetes, uh, not only taking good care of your skin and avoiding problems like ill-fitting shoes and pressure uh, development, but recognizing early the fact that there is a problem, um, whether it's claudication or ulceration or infection from the diabetes, and dealing with it early uh, enough to prevent progression to gangrene and limb loss. We have the tools to make the diagnosis and we have uh, tools, not only operative tools, but minimally invasive tools um, to uh, not necessarily cure all the time, but certainly to uh, uh, manage the problem so that it doesn't lead to the uh, severe consequences.